Hello biology students. If you are here on this video, it is because you are now on lesson 3.2 of the evolution unit. This lesson is comparing evolution models. This is going to be another worksheet where you have some information. You're going to fill in uh, a chart and uh, apply that to an explanation. So taking a quick look at this, um, I have it set up to where you can see both sides of the handout. Uh, the first part talks about how scientists compare models uh, to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of both of those. It's a really essential process to continue looking and evaluating uh, in light of evidence. So in this one, we're looking at um, uh, the sickle cell disease, uh, which we did in lesson 3.1. Now we're going to compare two uh, evolutionary models, one by Jean-Baptiste Lamarck and one by Charles Darwin. Now, to complete this, you'll need the rules you learned from Lesson 3.1, and that will help you write the uh, sense-making explanation. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to read these three paragraphs on the back side. First one is an overview uh, of the two um, people, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck and uh, Charles Darwin. The first paragraph is about Lamarck and his particular thinking about how uh, variation has occurred on this planet. Uh, and then the second one is Dar uh, Charles Darwin's version of how variation occurred on the planet. As you're reading through this, you're going to use this uh, graphic organizer, which you'll recognize from uh, 3.1. We have variation, which remember is kind of that genotype, phenotype, what kind of um, uh, differences do we see in the species, and three types of ecology. We're looking at reproduction, we're looking at competition, and we're looking at differential reproductive success, meaning which ones survive to make the offspring. And then finally, the change in population over time. How is it that they evolved over time? What does it look like? That's essentially the gist of this. From there, you take these two models, you compare it to the rules that we learned in Lesson 3.1, and you jot a couple of sentences down here that explains which model, Darwin's or Lamarck's, is more similar to ours and how so. Make sure you provide that evidence as part of your explanation, uh, what really sticks out to uh, show that our model, the rules we learned, is more like Darwin's or more like Lamarck's. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, and if you have any questions while you're working on it, if you get stuck on it, uh, talk it through with a peer, talk it through with a teacher. Uh, just make sure that you're reaching out and asking those questions. After you're done with this, your next step is to make an entry for lesson three in your learning tracker. So Lesson 3.1 and the information from Lesson 3.2, you're going to make an entry into your learning tracker. As always, thank you so, so much for your time, your dedication, your efforts and energy and all of this, and uh, have a beautiful day.